So I just wanted to start out uh, reading from this couple of books here. Uh, this first one called Slavery as it relates to the Negro or African race, examining the light of circumstances, history and the holy scriptures with an account of the origin of the black man's color, causes of his state of servitude and traces of his character as well in ancient as in modern times with strictures on abolitionism. All right, so this was written in 1840. Three. Just want to read here. It says, uh, start, "Let's start from here." This part, in accordance with this statement of Josephus, in rendering a reason why God called the two first human beings by but one name, and that name being Adam, or the red man, and woman red. Right? We find that the Hebrew language establishes that the words Adam, Adama, Adami, and Adama have all similar meaning. First, Adam, as above signifies earth, earthy man, red. Second, Adama signifies red earth or blood. Third, Adami signifies my man, red, earthy, human. Fourth, Adma signifies earthy, red or bloody. All which words are of the same class and spring from the same root, which was Adam signifying red or copper color. Again. Red or copper color. We're just talking about copper colored races, right? Of America. Webster's Dictionary, 1828. American. A native of America. Originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races. Found here by the Europeans. But now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. Again, copper colored races. From a view of this fact, it is difficult to account for the reason of the name of the first man and woman unless they were created red, instead of white or black, as it is well known that the Hebrew language is governed in its power of naming visible existences, as of animals, fowls, fishes, by their appearances or natures, and frequently by both as in the case of the name Adam, which not only represents the hue of his skin, but that also of his intellectual existence or human nature. 
thus this jewish historian as well as the genius of the hebrew language furnishes us with a clue like the golden thread in the labyrinth of the subterranean palace of ancient thebes leading to the right conclusion on this subject namely that adam with all the antediluvian race were red or a copper color people again that adam and all the antediluvian race or the people who lived before the flood we're talking about you ancient aboriginal of america right you were red or a copper colored people and you still are and regarding uh copper colored races right uh, in the book we got this in part one or two of the series uh, crania americana a comparative view of skulls of various aboriginal nations of north and south america in regards to the inca the Peruvians, uh, down uh, towards the bottom uh, middle, it says their complexion is a dark brown and their hair long black and rather coarse. Uh, down in the bottom, it says to these observations of Claviguero may be added a few others from Humboldt who describes them as possessing a swarthy and copper color. Again, a swarthy and copper color. Swarthy means black or dark skin and copper color and in another part of this book it says here now as the jews are red or a dark copper colored race a dark copper colored race really because the jews that uh they show us today these ashkenazi jews they don't look dark copper colored all right uh reading from this book called an abridged history africa and her people by rudy johnson and it says here noah Whatever may have been the hue of his complexion, was the father of sons of very different complexions. Japhet most likely was the white one, and from him descended the Caucasian race, as we shall presently show the fairest of the human races. So, um, the Ashkenazi Jew, as we mentioned earlier, uh, you know, they come from Ashkenaz. Ashkenaz is a son of uh, Gog, I believe, from Magog, but I believe it's Gog. And those are both sons of Japhet. They're not even Shem. The Hebrews come out of Shem. So these are not Hebrews that are in the state of Israel today. And the continuum says Shem was copper colored. Again, Shem was copper colored. Who also is copper colored? Here we go again. American, a native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the europeans all right shem was copper colored and the progenitor of the hebrews and of the copper colored races all right of you you are of shem when the third son was presented to noah he exclaimed him example black for the signification of the hebrew term means heat hence black and from him descended all the dark complex races as we shall see from the countries they inhabited and for which they were divinely adapted by color and constitution from uh the book we have here american antiquities and discoveries in the west by joshua priest and it says here but as it respects the complexions of these heads now they're talking about shem japhet and ham of the nations of the earth we remark as follows shem was undoubtedly a red or copper colored man again shem was undoubtedly undoubtedly a red or copper colored man which was the complexion of all the antediluvians this conclusion is drawn from the fact that the nations inhabiting the countries named as being settled or peopled by the descendants of shem have always been and now are of that caste we deem this fact as conclusive that such was also their progenitor and we're talking about the copper colored races of america right Shem, as that the great and distinguishing features and complexion of nations changed not materially. Shem was the father of the Jewish race or Hebrews, who are of the same hue, variant, it is true, some being of a darker and some of a lighter shade, right? Different kinds of hues, this copper color, but all the same, right? Are arising from secret and undefinable principles, place beyond the research of man and also from amalgamation by marriage with white and with the darker nations as the african so it's separate right then the african these copper colored uh, descendants of shem different 
but to corroborate our opinion that the antediluvians were of red or copper complexion, we bring the well-known statement of Josephus that Adam, the first of men, was a red man made of red earth called virgin earth because of its beauty and pureness. The word Adam, he also says, signifies that color, which is red. Again, copper-colored races. It's here from the Sundervan Pictorial Bible. Dictionary. I've actually found an original version of this in the archive.org website. All right. Again, the Sunderbend Pictorial Bible Dictionary. Uh, general editor is Meryl Citini, Dean of the Graduate School of Theology. We in college, we in Illinois. All right. Associate editor, Stephen Barabas, PhD. Picture and layout editor, Peter Deviser. With the assistance of 65 contributors, scholars, and experts in various fields all right so this is from 1963 1964 and 1967 copies all right so these are the sources of the pictures it says here you can see all the sources all right and contributors to this work this book this dictionary all right just an example Polly Adolf School of Medicine University of Pennsylvania all right look at this all right, so these are all the people helping out and contributing uh, in this book. All, right, all of these are like college PhD professors and stuff. This is a very scholarly book, actually. It's not just any book. I don't know if you've heard about it uh, before when we were uh, you know, looking for certain words and stuff. All right, and uh, we run into this book, but this book actually has changed over the years. This book from the 1960s is very thorough. All right? It's very original and has a lot of information that was taken out or changed the words changed as time went on i can show you different versions of this because i do have them but i like to show you this is the originals uh first ones you know printed in the 60s all right so these are all the contributors again um so we're in page 330 we're in the h's ham all right so that's the youngest son of noah born probably about 96 years before the flood and one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes. Again, very important, right? I know that kind of confuses a lot of people, all right? But like we've been trying to say, all skin folk ain't king folk, all right? Again, Ham, he is the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes. All right, not the Nagas, not the Negroes, not the copper color races in America, but of the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. His indecency when his father lay drunk and brought a curse upon Canaan. All right, I know a lot of the uh, people fight that because they're trying to say, oh, oh, that's just like a white man to blame the only so called Negro, right? Uh, as, as the one being cursed. But again, they're telling you straight up here that Ham, he is a progenitor of dark races, but not of the Negroes, the Nagas, the Negus, the Nagas, the kings, the priest kings. He's the uh, progenitor of the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites, all right? And one thing we have to know in Dodge, the hijack, and is that we assume that Japheth was white, that Shem was, you know, white like the white Israelites and that Ham was the only Negro and that's totally false totally false or so that whole oh they're just trying to blame the, the dark-skinned man and curse him no that's that's you're wrong it has nothing to do with complexion it has nothing to do with complexion all right again Ham is the progenitor of the dark races but not the Negroes not the Negroes, yes, dark races, but not the Negroes. Doesn't mean this is telling you straight up that not all dark skinned people in the world are related or of the same, you know, nation, tribe, or whatever, you know, or uh, ancestor. Yeah, like man, I'm tearing these are tears of joy right here, Heather. Okay, tears of gold. Yeah, man. man I, in, all, in all due respect to every race, niggas know black people don't crack. Like yeah, black yeah, don't yeah, crack. Yeah, black don't <laughs> crack. That was, it rhymes. Yeah, what's well, it inconsistent? Well, indigenous don't crack. Indigenous the natives don't, don't crack. The natives don't crack. You can crack. see a native and he could be 90 years old and still be 50. 
Mm. I'm talking for the natives. Yeah. I like when, when, it, when it comes to uh, talking about African Americans, I have no education with that. Period. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I, I don't. I'm not even connecting to that no more. Because that's a system. Mm-hmm. That's like connecting. Say, hey, he's a bad guy. You don't hang with him. Oh, hey, I'm mm-hmm. gonna find out for myself. I'm not African American at all. My, mm. my folks is not from Africa, and a lot of people in this room, folks, ain't from Africa. It might be a couple. But people just don't understand. I ask my grandma, yo, grandma, what's your background? She's like, red foot and um, black tail Indian. What? Yeah, my mother and my father, yeah, we are 100% Indians. Ask my other grandma, we got Cherokee in us and European and Italian, a little Dominican. Huh. It's crazy. I'm like, what the f? Oh, Africa. Y'all, y'all look at me funny. Like, nigga, I'm African. Like, I'm, I'm, you're not, though. Like, you're, you're, you're not. 80% of slaves are already here, it was natives. It's crazy. Hey, where you get that number from? Yeah. Shit, I just checked the books. Which book? Yeah. My, I got a whole laptop full of this shit. Yeah? Yeah, just for me reading. It's not a solid book like, hey, uh-huh. there's only a thousand slaves came here. And, nah, nigga, uh-huh. you got to read. You have to literally read. Like, I'm so deep into it, I don't think about a slave ship. I think about what was a slave ship called? Jesus. What the fuck was a slave ship called that Christopher Columbus was on? Who funded that slave ship? Who paid for that boat? Mm-hmm. Like what was these folks race? Like what, what was they back? At? So you saying you're not African American? You're more of the indigenous. Your grandmother and your grandparents from the Native American tribes. Do you address yourself as Native American? Do you address yourself as Black? Do you address yourself as African American? I'm other. So you're other. I'm un- I'm uneducated. I'm uneducated. So for me to sit here like a college professor, or a professor, I'm wrong. I'm uh-huh. uneducated. I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? But I'm damn sure not Black. They- you're not gonna call me Black. My my, own, my grandmother's not Crayola. Like, huh. So no, then, no, I'm connected to a tribe. I'm from a tribe, not a country. Mm-hmm. It's a big hmm. difference. What? Different laws, different everything. Like big difference. Yeah. But I don't want to make niggas feel like I'm on some other shit because I say I don't want to connect with African Americans. Like I'm saying, fuck black. It's nothing, nothing like that. It's that my eyelids is up. Mm-hmm. And when your eyelids is up, you read about everything you put in your mouth. You say out your mouth. You walk. You talk. And you conversate with. And I'm just, I'm just up. I'm awoke. That's just what it is. I'm not, I'm, I don't live for money every day no more. I live for the truth. Mm-hmm. That's just a difference now. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? <laughs> no, well, no. well, come on. Tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay. Which I'm month Jewish. is Jewish History Month? Now, there isn't one. Oh, Oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And until- stop talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. <laughs> what do you think, Morgan? Is this political yeah. correctness gone too far? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a tendency to do that anyway. I mean, you get politically correct um, stuff happens that you don't want to happen. I all of a sudden became an African. <laughs> political correctness. African American. I'm not African. I'm American. I'm not African. I'm American. I'm not African. <laughs> All right, and before I finish this video, I just want to read from uh, the Facts on File Encyclopedia of Word and Phrase Origins, 4th Edition, Definitions and Origins of More Than 15,000 Words and Expressions. And let's go into it. Uh, this part right here where it says for the uh, N-word, right? The N-word, right? When used by white a white person to describe a black or african-american person this is probably the most offensive hateful hurtful term in the language today uh, and the end word right has also been an offensive derogatory term applied to indians as well as blacks up until recent time so i just wanted to leave you with that right there so as you can see the n word right it was applied to indians this is from an encyclopedia american encyclopedia all right all right, not to corroborate with this, it says here from the historical quotes from Oxford Dictionary, 1861, and then it says here, a dark-skinned person of any origin, an early U.S. use usually with reference to American Indians, all right? So you see where the N-word was used for first, it was used to uh, in reference to American Indians. This is in the uh, Oxford Dictionary, all right? Oxford Dictionary. Look it up. Look for the book if you have it. I was. And a was said unto me, 
go yet love a woman beloved of her friend and an adulteress. Even as a wild loves the children of Israel, though they turn into other powers and love cakes of raisins. So I bought her unto me for 15 pieces of silver, a half home or a barley, and said, You shall not play the harlot. You shall sit solitary. Like many that, days. like that, and you know it's like that. We gon' keep a cord and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep a cord and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep our cord and we gon' take our land back. Like that, like that, and you know it's like that. We gon' keep our cord and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep our cord and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep our cord and we gon' take our land back. Like that, like that, in Inglewood, the game is digital. The war is spiritual, but not gonna need a miracle. Who knew a miracle would come when we just listened to you? Now we hysterical, cause we didn't think your words to be true. Be the head and not the tail, that's what you taught us to do. Chase and tell, become the tail, what a naga gon' do. Pull the trigger, slay the nigga with an attitude. Instagram, Twitter, feeding us the power with no fuse. We the copper Indians and Marocans and Hebrews. It's time to man up and stand up and rock in our shoes. We the Abyssinians, the mixed multitude. We the real life nagas with an attitude. Switch the story up, they speaking in the allegory. Slavery and land invasion, that ain't half story. The morning star, the star that's asleep by morning. More and more war buried us in solitary. And the wise said unto me, The children of Israel shall return and shall sit solitary many days without a god, without a prince, without sacrifice. Afterwards, Israel will return. Seek Hawah their power and David their time and shall come Trembling. to Hawah in the end of days. Hawah pop off and drop off whoever necessary and slay the hijack, especially these mercenaries. Traffic stops, killing cops, got knockers, driving scary. We're doing 60 on the freeway just to see our family. We're rolling 60 for Bro Nipsey and the Wood family. We're hitting 60 on the PJ for the royal family. We press the rough battle up with either Pax family. Shabbat vibes in the tribe don't mean we that friendly. Fuck the internet, we move into the library. Find a drop on how to stop familiar adversaries. Choosing up, drop a die like it's honorary. Cop shot my homeboy like it was customary. Trying to shoot a child and yell the at an open carry. He was carried off by six last February. Fuck Corona, man, we sicker than the coronary. American 1828 dictionary. And I said unto her, Thou shalt sit solitary for me many days. Thou shalt not play the harlot. Thou shalt not be any man's wife, nor will I be thine. For the children of Israel will return, seek Hawah and Kandawi, and shall come trembling unto Hawah and his goodness in the end of life. Like that, like that, and you know it's like that. We gon' keep our coat and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep our coat and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep our coat and we gon' take our land back. Like that, like that, and you know it's like that. We gon' keep our coat and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep our coat and we gon' take our land back. We gon' keep our coat and we gon' take our land back like that. Stay true to my heart and my vision Take control of my life, no more wishing Surviving in this world of perdition I'm prepared for the battle on a mission Wake up the masses, break out of the mental prison They lost in their game in submission And I'm no one's savior, but maybe the real ones will listen And even if they trapped by the master magician How well will lead them to the water manumission We need to try up as prophecies come to fruition Discernment, logic, and intuition Slay, hijack, silence the opposition Keeping the code as we get our land back and recognition And at the same time we wise up as we transition and i'm talking to you american western's 1828 definition yeah it's like that it's like that yeah and you know it's like that because drop nation keep the code and believe me we get our land back we press it up on who comes you better fall back this is our story the code is the pictographs they hijack living a lie suffered enough now it's time for payback dracon's gonna ride look up the sky we ready to attack enough is enough no more complaining it's time to act we bring down the foundations of deceit the message lived in the Generations of my seed Slaying all these hijacks Kill them on this beat Drakkan spit fire You don't want none of this like hate that, Like that And you know it's like that We gon' keep a code And we gon' take our land back We gon' keep a code And we gon' take our land back We gon' keep a code And we gon' take our land back Like that Like that And you know it's like that We gon' keep a code And we gon' take our land back We gon' keep a code And we gon' take our land back we gon' keep our code and we gon' take our land back like that. So I bought her for 15 pieces of silver and a homer of barley and a half homer of barley. And I said unto her, Thou shalt sit solitary for me many days. Thou shalt not play the harlot. Whoa.